All right, now it's five o'clock. I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. And uh, this is the special call meeting of the Hartford City Council on February the tenth, two thousand twenty. I'm going to ask uh, Brother David if you didn't open this one first. Please. Yes. Father God, we thank you for the day, Lord. We thank you for this meeting we're about to have, Lord. And let us get an understanding. And Lord, touch the Brother George and our mayor the day the night lord and touch each and one everyone that's here lord that we will get on one accord and this meeting go ahead in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen all right we've called a meeting for just one purpose and that's to discuss uh purchase of a new garbage truck um i'll let uh Jason, talk about our current garbage truck and the situation that it's in. <clears throat> it's Thursday. It come the slide come up out of the tracks, bent cylinder, which y'all know we had to buy. George bought here while back. We bought uh, another bed out of Wisconsin. Had to put the gate on it because the gate, just the bare gate, was thirty thousand dollars. So you know that got that's got us long. We've get, we're getting our money's worth out of what we got because it bent the cylinder thirty. You know, we had a cylinder we didn't have to purchase. I took it to we worked on it Friday. Uh, I took it to Kevin this morning. I helped him. We've got it back up and going, but it's just it's on borrowed time. I mean, it'll make a good backup truck, reserve truck, but we're patching it more and more as we go along and. Like I said, it come apart on a Thursday. They didn't get to finish Thursday's route. So this was... How, um, much, how much money we spent on that truck in the last year? We spent probably several dollars. But it's... They it's say... Adams alone in the welding has cost us no telling how much. In a, He's had to re-weld. Ten years, they say, is about the experience of a truck. So we bought it in, I want to think, 2006. Or 2000, it's a 2007 model, so we've had it what since then 14 years, 13 years. So, I mean, it's you know, it does good, but we're getting to the point, I'm afraid, that it's gonna go down, down on us, and then we ain't gonna, we're gonna be stuck. We need to replace kingpins in yeah. it right now. I've got an appointment for that, and you know, like I said, if we tried to sell it, we probably would get nothing out of it, but it would be a good truck to you know like even do work orders on holidays or if we get behind on heavy rains or anything we can jump you know we've all in the past had a spare you know when you've on council before we had one <laughs> if something happens we can even two of us can jump on the other truck and play catch up to help get the routes done or get what we need to be done you know i hope with the new one but even a new one can break but we've contacted uh, three different companies Two in Louisville and then one in Anderson, Indiana. Um, the one, you want to talk about the one that uh, we're going to recommend? Yes, the one that he's got, it's it's from Municipal. It's the one that we deal with. We've dealt with Municipal. I've been here going on 19 years, and we've always oh. dealt with Municipal equipment. That's who we buy our totes from, regardless. That truck is on the ground, ready. All the, well, I know two of them are on the ground, ready to go. But this one is set up just like ours now. It's got the capability to dump dumpsters in case. That's just how they build their trucks. And and if we want to, in the future, everyone be able to have dumpsters, it's it would be expensive to add on to one of the other trucks. That I'm assuming. This one here, it's a new, it's a brand new truck. It, it's either an 18 or 19. He said he wasn't for sure. It's never been titled. It was built. Somebody come to him to buy one. So they got their spot in mind to start building it. Then he changed his mind and went up to a CDL truck. This truck here is just like ours, under CDL driver. The guy didn't want it, so it's, they demoed it twice. The original price of that truck, the price there now, add $10,000 to it, is the original price. So we, we're getting $10,000 off of it. It's got safety features as you can unload it inside the cab. Plus, the hot shot PTO is you can compact. Instead of the truck having to sit there while we're compacting, my understanding of that one is the guys can start compacting and then they can go up to the next stop or check. It. And instead of them just walking, the truck can come too. 
So it'll save on time. That one's in Louisville. Best, the best equipment one. It's got, this one's got hydraulic locks that locks the gate from inside. You know, like I said, what we got now. This one you gotta physically get out and turn like ratchet straps to get it to unlock at the landfill, then dump it and knock it back. But all of them will have backup cameras, I'm assuming, and all that. It's not, I mean, I know it's a big chunk of change to do, and I'm not really wanting to do it, but. As bad as I hate spending money, I don't think we ought to put a lot more in that old truck. Well, we've been saving money for this purpose. Right. Uh, we've got about, over $42,000 saved. And we've got about, what, 30000 in our sanitation fund. I wouldn't want to see us deplete our sanitation fund. Right. But uh, I think it would be easy for us to come up with like a third down right now, about 45000 and then we talked to them about financing. They've got a finance company that um, that we can go through them to finance the remaining ninety thousand over a two year time. But I'm gonna let her talk about the financing. <laughs> and this truck is this one's state bid. I know for sure. Them two, I do not know if they're... The they're all in the same ballpark. Yeah. They're all in 130000 135000 so... Do you have that sheet that had the amounts? Um, <clears throat> okay. There were two There were two options. Uh, one's a two-year and one's a three-year. And to cut to the chase, basically the two-year is going to cost you $3,700 in interest with paying um, the first 45000 down. The three years going to cost five thousand five hundred and eight dollars in interest, or another option might be is to use our occupational tax as our bank. Even if you, whether you wanted to give back the interest to occupational tax or however you want to do it, right now we're putting in four thousand two hundred and forty two seventy five. Yeah, forty two seventy five a month. That is what we've been putting back for the truck. That's how we've got the forty-two thousand set aside for it. Um, and like he said, we've got around thirty thousand in the account right now. We'll have another uh, thirteen thousand probably tomorrow or the next day when we actually have the revenue from the prior month. So, um, and like he said, of course you that, that's operating um, money as far as you know paying the payroll and paying the bail bill. <coughs> Um, but you don't have to have that full amount sitting there. So basically, you have to decide if you want to do if you want to finance it through them for two years as 3.94 percent at 3,700 dollars cost, or three years at 3.95 percent at 5,500 dollars, or if we would rather to work that within our on use our own funds as our own bank. And he also mentioned earlier today he probably could go down to. Sicilian and borrow the money and he might get something a little less than the 3.94 the whole but the whole thing is is do we want to do that if we if we've got four hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars in occupational tax at the moment uh, which means we just got our end of year revenue in and there won't be any more until the um, actually end of March which would receive it in April so it kind of depends on if you're going to purchase the truck, if you would prefer to pay interest or tighten our belts a little bit and use occupational tax funds. And and even at that, even if you used occupational tax funds, you could give interest if you wanted to give interest from sanitation to occupational tax. But I mean, some council members don't like doing that. They would rather finance outside. But that's kind of the nuts and bolts of the options. What's the payment amount per month? Uh, 3,924 payments. Actually, 3,906. Or for three years, 36 months is uh, $2,655.
and it's paying forty five down on a hundred and thirty five dollar truck. So you're actually borrowing ninety thousand. That's on this one kind of depends on which truck you're what you're looking at. So there's actually we got two questions. Number one, do we want to purchase a new truck? Secondly, if we do want to purchase it, then the second question becomes, then how do we want to finance it? This is the cost of a new truck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, 135000 <clears throat> I think he missed the part that we, you do have another. We've got two other it. options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're all basically the same. Okay. Uh, the recommendation from the maintenance department <coughs> is this truck because it's the same type of truck that we've got now. They know how to operate it. It's a little better uh, equipped than the truck we've got now, of course, because it's, what, uh, 13, 14 years mm -hmm. newer. Um, it's got color cameras in it, it's, you can pack on the go, it's, a, it's, it's just got a, a few more options than our, than our current truck has. Uh, probably it's got more options than the other two that were suggested or offered to us. So anyway, the question becomes, do you want to go ahead and purchase another truck, or do you want to go ahead and try to keep this old one running for a little while longer? <laughs> I was telling them, we just, it's been down, getting welded on for the last day or two, and That's where I've been they worked all day Friday to try trying to, to straighten it, it up. We had one down problem. on this Thursday. So we've been setting aside more than enough money to cover the payment, and there's... I mean, it just makes sense to buy it now that there's enough from a down payment in the account. So well, that's what he was trying to do is you know keep. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to nurture this one along to get a down payment down that you know so it ain't a big. Because when we bought this one, I think we actually paid. I think maybe don't quote me the exact amount, but like about the same amount down. But the trucks have come up. This truck, if we, this is a demo unit, so we're actually saving. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. It would originally be one hundred forty-five thousand dollars. You know, but it's a demo. And what they call demo is somebody bought it, didn't want it. They took it to somebody and they run garbage through it. So therefore, that become a demo. Mm -hmm. So, but there, I mean, as far as nothing wrong with it, it's got a warranty on this and the truck. It's the truck's never been titled, so it's still a brand new truck. I don't think we had much of a choice. Do what? I make a motion we buy the new truck. Okay. Let Let's Jason see. pick out the one because he knows more about the rest of it put together. <coughs> yeah, I can't, I can't recommend to you which truck to get. No, Jason know more about that. Because these, these packer That's bodies why I here. I'm paying him overtime tonight. <laughs> I ain't worried about That's why I'm that. I'm paying him overtime tonight. <laughs> Make I mean, That's why I've been staying so with Kevin. Don't answer questions to direct your questions no, to uh, no. Jason, Seriously. tell them, though, the, the point about the that truck having the option of when you <coughs> because that's a huge safety. Yeah, we can actually dump this, excuse me, from inside the truck. Now Chad, which I get out and walk around, you know, but I, Chad will stand on the side and dump because you don't never know what you're standing in or anything right. out there. So you can actually, say for instance, this truck, if you even you were driving it, Kim, you go out to the landfill, you back up, and there'll be two switches in the cab. You push one, it raises the tailgate. You push another one, it pushes it out. Yeah. Then you push the switch back down, and the tailgate shuts. You don't have to get out of the truck and be on the work face. And then the 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 hot shot PTO will make it where if the hopper's full, one of the guys can hit the compact. They can go up to the next stop, and Chad can drive to the next, or they can stand on the truck and we'll go to the next stop without having the truck set there while it does a compact and cycle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a week's time, you're probably, you know, I'd, hopefully, you know, you're saving a little bit of time per stop. I'm sure from an insurance standpoint, that one, you'll get safety discounts by that one. We've dealt with municipal, like I said, ever since I've been here, but that don't mean, you know, we can't change. The best equipment, we just accommodated them. They took over our leaf vac, that's who we got to buy our parts through then. And that one right there, I don't know if this guy told that guy, because I don't even know where that 
that one showed up in my email too so but as far as this one right here i don't know if them two this one right here unless you do an emergency purchase this is state bid so we don't have to bid it out like if you went with one of them i don't know if they would be state bid we had to run it in the paper etc but this is the state bid contract so right lisa state bid we don't have to bid you can go with state bid mm -hmm. but as far as emergency purchase but like I said, this is setting in Louisville right now. And I think the best equipment one's sitting in Cincinnati, but it don't it don't have the features this one's got. We're getting more features for this one like like we got now. The uh dump where we can dump dumpsters, which we don't have no dumpsters, but ours just got it now. This one's and, actually even more. Yeah. One thirty five, five sixty seven. And it has less less. I know it has less safety than that one does. And we I was talking to Jimmy today. He's always been a sales rep. And this engine here compared to, I think, the B6.7, if it come down to it, this engine, he said, you know, you don't ever want to cross this path. But this engine can be rebuilt. This engine is a throwaway, get another engine, is how he explained it while ago on the phone. Mm. You know, he said, this motor, this one is actually, it's got chrome wheel or the aluminum wheels and all this. Like I said, somebody ordered it. It didn't take it. It's why it's sitting up there. Because me and Chad went up there one day to get totes, and we seen a freight liner sitting up there, and we was all over it, and people was looking at us laughing at us. I was like, well, you know. <laughs> I've got a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right, second. Is there a discussion to this? How we finance? Is that discussion? No. The finance will be the next motion. Okay. How we going to finance it? We're just deciding now if we want to buy one or not. Okay. Yeah, good. No discussion. Then, if you're in favor of buying a new truck, uplifted hand. Okay, thank you. Motion carried unanimous. Now, let's discuss the options of financing. You've got basically two options. We can either finance through the company and pay so much a month or we can finance ourselves through from one from one uh, account to the account other. thank you i'm worn out today i guess you take out this tower the one over there next okay <laughs> y'all wipe me up with so, over with all right so man you feel more comfortable financing with the company or with one of the local banks <clears throat> Well, we can do with with a local bank, with the company, or we can do it with ourselves. We can finance ourselves and pay ourselves the interest. Pay one account. I'll have to let the CPA. Oh, no, actually, if you were gonna if you were gonna let occupational tax pay the remaining ninety thousand, what you could do is kind of set it up the way that it's already been happening forty two seventy five, which is even which. It's more than either one of these options for two or three years, but then let sanitation pay occupation tax by it. And then you not sent down to <coughs> three to five thousand dollars. Um, if you would rather to set this up, we I mean you could six to one half dozen the other, it just depends on who in my opinion who you want to get the interest. Or even if you don't want to charge interest to sanitation and just let them make payments pay back the 9000 I, mean, I don't think sanitation will generate enough income for us to no. make a full payment each month. You know, there's, <coughs> it may be that it'll take three, four years before it actually pays everything back and the accounts are even again. So the 4275 what account was that coming out of? That was coming out of occupational tax. Okay. Right. But that was money that was set aside right every what happened uh, it really doesn't have anything to do with this topic but we were paying 4275 to regional wastewater for a loan for many years ago for sewer so what we did when we did the budget we left 4275 set aside every month for because we already saw what was happening with the garbage truck so that those funds are actually riding in sanitation we haven't moved them or anything but it's denoted for the sanitation truck so we were already setting aside 4275 um i don't know was he here when we said that 400 is 467 thousand 
in occupational tax. I don't know if you were here or not as far as their funds right now. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of depends on how you want to do it. In the past, there's no council members has wanted actually to pay interest to yeah. another fund. They said that wasn't necessary. But we have paid things back. But I know we don't want to get into loaning mm -hmm. on lots of yeah. items. But, I mean, I guess your other option is just let occupational tax pay it. I mean, I don't know. But there's no reason why, um, it's just my personal opinion, why we would want the bank to finance it when we... Exactly. Yeah, I don't exactly. think we, yeah. if we can handle it ourselves. Right. Yeah. We save the interest but on it. Just depends on your ideas. Um, why wouldn't we just let occupational Pay tax all. just yeah. keep paying it? Pay it all and be done with it? That's the old decision, you know. <coughs> <coughs> I think that's the best way to go myself. What what happens is the if the sanitation fund grows or does it not grow? Is there a point where it gets too big and you got to do something about it? We've never had that. We mm -hmm. into that. It's been what two years that we've had the increased sanitation rates. We were losing money. Okay. And um, right, we raised them to a point that we thought would be break even, and that's why you have any okay. revenue there at all. Mm -hmm. um, I just say we pulled out of the occupational. Just have them pay for it. Motion <laughs> well, I make a motion we take it out of occupational tax and let them pay for it and not have any interest occurring. That's it. Okay, but are you. Can you restate that? <laughs> you want. Take the 42 for, that we have and pay that down on it. And then pay the payments out of occupational tax. It'd be the balance, right, yeah. Jerry? The balance, because there won't be any payments. Are you talking about the whole ninety thousand? If it's got it in there, I'd say, what else we're going to use it for? I, I no, I'm not questioning that. I just want to make sure I write down what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. a lot. That's all I'm saying. So you want to take the forty-two thousand out of the occupational tax? Mm -hmm. Well, we well the, pay account, the account is set aside. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the 90000 We could pay it, pay that. If we couldn't afford that out of the tax, out of the council, out of the occupational tax, we can do it in lump sums to pay it. Well, we're going to have to pay the whole 135000 to Midwestern. Uh-huh. Forty-two was it? Forty-two seven fifty or something like that. You're thinking about the payment. Uh, well, we've already got well, saved it's 40, up. Yeah, it's forty-two thousand something. Yeah, seven fifty plus the remainder then of the hundred thirty-five thousand to come out of occupational tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and pay yeah. pay that off one time. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor of doing that, and thank you. Motion's carried. There being no other business that we can conduct right now, then I'll entertain a motion we adjourn. I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Second. All right, all Jason, in favor. Jason, you're on after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>